MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. Cincinnati attempt to end a six game losing streak next. Jose Quintana will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, thanks, Matt. Lefty Jose Quintano taking the bump right now. Really like this guy. Not overpowering, but great command of the fastball. And he does something a lot of lefties don't do. He'll come in with that fastball to righties. Three-pitch guy. Fastball, curveball, changeup. Throws all three Leading for strikes. Not an overpowering that. guy, but he is really a control Joe artist. Votto. So digging in now, Joey Votto. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. Dan Dero, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Hey, Matty V, this has been a good division so far. And hey, Dero, even though their lead isn't as big as it once was, they're playing some good baseball, and they'd love to carry this into a strong month of May. Yeah, they find themselves sitting in first place after April. I I'm telling you, that's all you can ask for in this game. I know it's a long season, a lot of games left to be played, but they find themselves in a nice spot grounder down the line at third but this will get foul it's a ball and two strikes ready on one and two is put in play to the right side of the infield and there's one down now A moment here to take a look at the Cincinnati Reds starting lineup in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Yeah, there's no doubt they really need Joey Votto to bust out big time. He's only got five hits in his last ten games. Look, I like him as a player. I think he's better than this, but this stretch has been pretty ugly. He's been inconsistent, and we all know consistency is the name of the game in this sport. Into the box now, Nick Senzel. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. One home run and five driven in. Hit hard back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number two. Batting third. The left fielder number two. Nick Castellanos. Ready now for Cincinnati. Nicholas Castellanos. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here's the pitch. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. The wind up and the 0 1. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two now. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Half will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Reds are down in order. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Wade Miley gets the call for game one of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, taking a look at the numbers, you see that ERA a little under four last season. But I think his team and organization, they're expecting some bigger and better things out of him this year. We'll see if he can get off to a better start in this one. Now at the plate, Kyle Schwarber. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And guys, these Reds, as they enter play here this afternoon, they are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Yeah, I get it, Matty. The team's on a moderate losing streak right now. Can't be happy with the way they've played. 
but they have to find a way to relax a little bit. Everybody goes through these little stretches, these little valleys throughout the course of a long season. This team should right itself, and it needs to start today. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. On that fastball is too much for him there, 1-2. and two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. And this is taken outside for ball one. Head-to-head -head history with Wade Miley. He's had success six for 14. He's taken him deep once. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Too high. And it's 3-0. and oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Bryant looking at a three and one count. This is line to left. Castellanos is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. And a chance now from the north side of Chicago to check out the Cubs starting lineup. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Yeah, Matty, you take a look up and down this lineup. One thing jumps out. A lot of guys with some quality batting averages. They find themselves in the top third of the league in batting average. And that usually bodes well. As the season gets long, if you can keep your approach, usually leads to winning games. Anthony Rizzo is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Two out, nobody on. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Oh. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Aquino is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Cubs are down in order. Still no score. Second inning set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And a curveball in for a strike. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball, kind of front hip. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. In now, Jesse Winker popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. That is good. The second baseman, Mike Moustakis. In now, Mike Moustakis, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first-pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Even 1-1 one and one count to Moustakis. That's 
no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. What we're seeing here is a guy getting pitched to very carefully. It doesn't matter that there's two outs and nobody on. He's a threat to score even when he's standing in the batter's box. Lays off the breaking pitch, and it's three balls and a strike. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three-ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And a breaking ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Reds. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning now. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Javier Baez. First pitch of the at-bat. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. Yeah, everyone knows this guy's been having a great year at the plate, but he's not exactly a gazelle on the bases. But he turns on the Jets here and makes it all the way to third. He might need an oxygen tank, but hey, he made it. Coming to the plate now, Jason Hayward. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. As a look, now the pitch. Miley isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now, trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Now the 2-1. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Wilson Contreras will be next. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Nope. And he's able to lay off there for ball four. And that'll put runners at the corners now with still nobody out. Batting pitch. The catcher. Wilson. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. First delivery to him on the way. Grounded to third. This could be two. There's one first and it's a double play although the run does come into score from third it certainly looked like they might have had a big inning cooking there with first and third and no outs but the double play kind of kills it they did get the run in but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI into the box now David Bodie he appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early, 1 0. Look out, 2 0 now. Hit hard, but foul. Miley's ready. 2-1 on its way. Down to 3-1. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five-pitch walk. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And 
history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Set to get his day started, Ian Happ batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Castellanos is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. Back with more fun here on a Friday afternoon after this. Into the box, Aristides Aquino. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find... Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Back goes Hayward, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he is in the third base here with a leadoff triple. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league leaders in triples. Standing in now, Tucker Barnhart. The swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Down into left center for a base hit. This will kick up against the wall now. And to score from third, the tying run. Yeah, it's always nice to get a run right back after you've given one up to the guys in the other dugout. So he squares this thing up really well to drive it a run and ties us up at one. At the plate, Wade Miley. And he'll try and get his man to third here as he puts this one down. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. And this will go down as an E5, as you can see the exasperation on his face. And it's fouled away. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. A ball and two strikes now. Good pitch, and I think he locked him up, but he wasn't rewarded for it this time. High and deep to right. Back goes Hayward to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he will score as that run breaks the tie and makes this a two-to-one ball game. Always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. So one gone now in the Cincinnati third. And that means Nick Senzel will dig in at the plate. They set the target in. And this finds the inside corner for strike one. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play. And he throws him a four-seamer. Hit out towards second. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So two runs on two base hits. One error and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Reds two and the Cubs one. We're just about set to go here as the Cubs come to bat in the third inning. And Chicago fans have been fortunate to watch one of the best offenses around this season. They enter the day near the top of the league in both team batting average and runs scored. So it's safe to say they're among the cream of the crop in terms of offensive production. Talking with some of the coaches earlier, they all alluded to not only the high level of talent on this club, but also the hitters' tireless work ethic. They praised the professionalism these players bring to their craft as a major reason for their success. And they said the hard work breeds confidence when it comes time to compete in the batter's box. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. A ball and no strikes. Hit in the air out to center field. Aquino is there and he has it for the first out. And with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the NL Central entering play as you see where these two teams sit in relation to one another.
Stepping up now, Kyle Schwarber looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. One and one to Schwarber. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. Here's Chris Bryant now. As he'll take a look at ball one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. One and zero pitch on the way, and he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero. Tough situation for him right here. I mean, he's got an open base, so he doesn't have to give into this guy. But there's definitely danger looming on deck, so you can't just completely work around him either. On a rope to the second baseman, and it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settle with just the one out. Number 44, Anthony. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a bit surprised to see the bullpen inactive right now. Yeah, I'm with you, Matt. Even though he's pitching okay, I do think you have to look at what he's given you and realize he's probably approaching the end of his rope pretty soon. Last thing you want is for things to start to unravel and not have a guy ready that you can turn to. Come set the 0-1. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Rizzo has been having a big season to this point, and so far the fans are rewarding him with a ton of all-star love. He leads all first basemen in votes coming into today. Yeah, Maddie, not bullet to second base, a fine play, and that ends the inning. One left for the Cubs. They still trail it here, two to one. set for the start of the fourth and the right handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next here's the first pitch to him too high to start the inning it's one and oh that hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. The 1 0 delivery. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Schwarber will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. The third baseman, number seven. And Eugenio Suarez. So the base is empty here with one away. And into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big time power hitters in the league, a Eugenio Suarez. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Hard hit at third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And that's the second out. Well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Here's the first pitch to him. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. 
Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. Winker doesn't usually enjoy left handed pitching like this as much as he does at bats against right handers. I'm not sure if it's a comfort thing or if he just sees the and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Reds are down in order. They still lead it two to one. Jose De Leon, the six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Leading off the inning, Javier Baez, and they'll need him to get something going here. First pitch of the at bat. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The wind up and the 0 1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0 2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. No, that's down. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0 2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Now the payoff pitch home. And that misses for ball four to lead off walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. That's an excellent at bat right there. Fell behind early one and two. Didn't panic or start chasing pitches out of the zone. He's able to lay off three pitches in a row, and he's standing on first with no outs. That's a great job. So coming to the plate, Jason Hayward. He drew a base on balls his first time up. From the stretch. And there's ball one. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pop commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. lifted down the line in left and that will end up a foul ball another one two delivery on the ground to second base this could be two. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first the catcher number 40 Wilson John Perez. So striding in, Wilson Contreras, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch on its way. Baez leads off second with one gone in the inning. All one. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Base hit, line drive into the corner. The tying run is in to score from second. You'll only see about 10 of these pitches a year. The change up on a tee in the middle of the plate, but tip your hat to the batter right there. He did not come unglued, stayed within himself, and drove it for a base hit. Into the box, David Bodie. 
sent in the air out to straightaway central. Aquino is there now, and he has it to gone. And this throw gets away from him. But it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Contreras rounds third and is digging for the plate. He will score as it's now a 3-2 ball game. Well, that's a big at bat right the there. Picture. Not the only does he get two. all the way to third on a triple, okay. but he also drives in the go-ahead run. Stepping in now, Jose Quintana. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set. The 0 1. This one's flared off to the right side. Winker will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played four full. It's the Cubs three and the Reds two. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. The second baseman, Mike. First pitch coming. Here it is. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. And it's one and one. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Good range shown off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. At the plate, Aristides Aquino. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. And that misses for ball one. Really high curveball right there. Struggling with the release point. That's the key to the curveball, figuring out and finding that release point. The 1-0 home. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Bryant's got it. Throw gets him two down. Now well I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle and he hit it hard but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Ready for another chance. Tucker Barnhart. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Schwarber will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Reds. They're down three to two. Digging in once again, Kyle Schwarber. One for two with a double on his line thus far. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Here comes the first pitch. 
off the plate, ball one. And now a right-hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. The 1-0. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Winker is there to put it away for route number one. Now batting. The third baseman. Red. Bryant. Stepping in. Chris Bryant. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one, no strike. The 1-0 home is looked at for the first strike. Three runs, four hits, one error for the Cubs to this point. Down low, two balls and a strike. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. Racing back the left fielder. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Chris Bryant leaves the yard with a solo shot. Number 23 for him thus far. And it gives the Cubs a 4-2 lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Robert Stevenson will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Outside with the fastball, it's 1 0. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Weak grounder down the line at third. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. And there are two away now. The bat, the shortstop, Javier Baez. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Big swing and a miss at the changeup. A ball and a strike. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Baez will head for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The baseball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question. He's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. The 0-1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Two now as that's in there at the knees. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Cubs get a run here thanks to this solo home run. Through five innings, it's now four to two, Chicago. 
Philip Herman will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number six, Philip Herman. Strike one to start the at bat. Batting average down in the low two tens. One home run and four RBIs. Hanging curveball taken though for a second strike. Try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. The 2 2. Swing and a liner. Foul. The 2 2 one more time. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for out number one. The first baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. In is Joey Votto now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Schwarber is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Now batting the shortstop, Nick Senzel. Into the box now, Nick Senzel. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. Reds are down in order, still down by a count of four to two. Michael Lorenzen enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 21. Michael. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. A hit in two tries for him so far. Leading off for the Cubs. Here's the first pitch to him. Wilson. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The 1 0 home. A swing and a ground ball to third. A dive, but it's off his glove. And he won't risk the long throw across. He'll hang on to it. It's an infield single. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball season. Bottom line is, this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. At the plate now, David Bodie. 0 and 1 the count. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4-2 to two ball game. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Fouled off. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. At the plate, Ian Happ tripled homer run last time through, so we'll see what he's got in store here. First delivery to him on the way. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Four runs, seven hits. One error for the Cubs to this point. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two.
the 2 0. Half with a swing, and he connects, sends this one to deep right field. Into the bleachers and gone. A two run blast to straight away right field. Eighth home run on the season for him as they open it up to six to two now. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Into the box now, the pitcher, Jose Quintana. Jose. He swings and grounds it to short, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. To the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. one gets away and forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch well when a reliever comes in a game he always wants to make a big impression but I don't think uncorking a wild one was what he had in mind sometimes it takes a reliever a little bit of time to be comfortable on the mound out there so we'll see if he can settle in bit outside two and one somebody's getting frustrated he's not used to getting hit around like this three and one to the Cubs left fielder it's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. The tag at third, and they got him. A double play, and very quickly here, the side is retired. Two for the Cubs in the inning on the strength of this two-run home run. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up to start the seventh. It's the Cubs six, and the Reds two.